We search for connection. We long for belonging. This quest for a deep, meaningful bond is a fundamental part of the human experience. It drives us to seek out relationships that fulfill our emotional and spiritual needs. This desire is woven into our very being. It is an intrinsic part of who we are, influencing our actions, our thoughts, and our dreams. We are constantly in search of that one person who can understand us completely, who can share in our joys and sorrows. It is a yearning as old as time itself. From the dawn of human history, people have sought out their other halves, believing that somewhere out there exists a perfect match, a soulmate who completes them. From ancient myths to contemporary tales, the idea of soulmates has captivated hearts and minds for centuries. Stories of soulmates can be found in every culture, each with its own unique interpretation of what it means to find one's true love. Art and literature in their many forms reflect this deep human longing. Paintings, sculptures, poems, and novels all strive to capture the essence of this profound connection, illustrating the beauty and complexity of love. They give voice to our hopes and dreams of finding that one perfect match. Through these creative expressions, we see our own desires mirrored back at us, reminding us that we are not alone in our quest for love. They explore the joys and sorrows, the triumphs and tragedies that come with loving and being loved. These stories and artworks delve into the complexities of relationships, showing us that love is not always easy, but it is always worth pursuing. Across cultures and throughout history, the concept of soulmates has evolved. Different societies have their own interpretations and beliefs about soulmates, influenced by their unique cultural, religious, and philosophical backgrounds. It has been shaped by changing societal norms, philosophical beliefs, and artistic expressions. As our understanding of love and relationships has grown, so too has our portrayal of soulmates in art and literature, Yet, the core allure remains the same. The idea of finding a soulmate continues to resonate with us, offering a sense of hope and possibility that transcends time and place. It is a testament to the enduring power of love and the human need for profound connection. This need drives us to seek out relationships that fulfill our deepest desires for companionship and understanding. This essay delves into the captivating world of soulmates as portrayed in art and literature. We will explore how different artists and writers have interpreted the concept of soulmates and how these interpretations have evolved over time. We will journey through different eras and artistic movements, exploring how the idea of soulmates has been imagined and reimagined throughout time. From the Romantic era to modern times, the portrayal of soulmates continues to captivate and inspire us. Want to find out who could be your soulmate? Wait till the end to find out. In the realm of myths and legends where gods walked among mortals and love held eternal power, we find stories that have transcended time and continue to captivate our imaginations. These tales, rich with symbolism and emotion, offer some of the earliest portrayals of soulmates, a concept that has fascinated humanity for millennia. Greek mythology, with its intricate tales of passion, betrayal, and tragedy, provides a profound glimpse into the ancient understanding of love's enduring bond. These stories are not just about romance, but also about the trials and tribulations that test the strength of these bonds. One of the most poignant examples is the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, a tale that has been told and retold through the ages. Orpheus, a gifted musician whose melodies could charm even the stones, loses his beloved Eurydice to a serpent's bite on their wedding day. His grief is so profound that it transcends the mortal realm. Driven by his undying love and sorrow, Orpheus ventures into the underworld, the realm of the dead, 
to plead for her return. His music, filled with the depth of his love and loss, softens the hearts of the formidable gods of the underworld. Hades and Persephone, moved by his sorrowful tunes, agree to release Eurydice, but with a single, crucial condition. Orpheus must not look back at Eurydice as she follows him out of the underworld, or she will be lost to him forever. As they ascend towards the light, the tension mounts. Orpheus, driven by his longing and doubt, glances back just before they reach the surface. In that fateful moment, Eurydice is pulled back into the shadows, lost to him forever. This tragic ending underscores the intensity of their love and the devastating consequences of doubt and impatience. It serves as a powerful reminder of the fragility of human emotions and the high stakes of true love. The myth of Orpheus and Eurydice highlights not only the power of love, but also the pain of loss and the consequences of our actions. It is a story that resonates deeply with the human experience. The tale suggests that some connections are so profound that they transcend even death itself. The love between Orpheus and Eurydice is portrayed as eternal, defying the boundaries of life and death. This myth speaks to the enduring power of love to defy boundaries and the deep, lasting pain of loss. It is a testament to the idea that true love is eternal, even in the face of insurmountable odds. The story of Orpheus and Eurydice continues to inspire artists, writers, and musicians who find new meaning and relevance in its timeless themes. It is a narrative that has been interpreted in countless ways, each time revealing new layers of its profound message about love, loss, and the human condition. The Renaissance ushered in a renewed appreciation for classical learning, a revival that touched every aspect of life from science and philosophy to art and literature, this period marked a profound shift in the way people viewed the world and their place within it. Art and literature flourished like never before, with artists and writers drawing inspiration from ancient texts and creating works that celebrated human potential and beauty. This cultural rebirth was characterized by an explosion of creativity and innovation. During this era, the concept of soulmates took on a spiritual dimension, often intertwined with the idea of divine love. This was a time when love was seen not just as a physical or emotional connection, but as a profound spiritual bond that could elevate the soul. Dante Alighieri's epic poem, The Divine Comedy, offers a powerful example of this intertwining of love and spirituality. Written in the early 14th century, it remains one of the most important works of world literature. In the poem, Dante's journey through hell, purgatory, and paradise is guided by his muse and unattainable love, Beatrice. She is not just a character, but a symbol of divine love and spiritual aspiration. Beatrice represents divine love and spiritual enlightenment, guiding Dante towards a higher understanding of himself and the universe. Her presence is a beacon of hope and purity in his arduous journey. Her presence inspires Dante's transformation and ascent to paradise, symbolizing the power of love to lead one to spiritual fulfillment and enlightenment. This journey is not just physical, but deeply metaphysical. Renaissance artists inspired by Neoplatonic philosophy often depicted love as a path to spiritual transcendence. Neoplatonism, with its emphasis on the connection between the material and the spiritual, provided a rich framework for exploring these themes. Paintings and sculptures from this period frequently portray lovers in idealized settings, their gazes locked in a moment of profound connection. 
These works capture the essence of love as a divine and transformative force. These works celebrate the transformative power of love and its ability to elevate the soul. Love, in the Renaissance view, was a force that could inspire greatness and lead to a deeper understanding of the self and the divine. The Renaissance redefined soulmates as not only romantic partners, but also as muses, guides, and sources of spiritual inspiration. This broader understanding of love and partnership enriched the cultural and artistic landscape of the time. This era cemented the enduring link between love, art, and the pursuit of higher truths. The Renaissance legacy continues to inspire us today, reminding us of the profound connections between love, creativity, and the human spirit. Stick around till the end to find out who could be your soulmate. Kindred Spirits, Romanticism and the Soul's Reflection. The Romantic era swept through Europe in the late 18th and 19th centuries, emphasizing emotion, imagination, and the power of the individual. Romantic poets, in particular, embraced the concept of soulmates as kindred spirits, connected by shared ideals, passions, and a deep understanding of one another's souls. William Wordsworth, a key figure in the Romantic movement, explored the complexities of human connection in his poetry. His poems often celebrated the beauty of nature and the profound impact of personal relationships. He believed in the power of love to transcend time and mortality. Romantic poets like Wordsworth emphasized the emotional and spiritual aspects of soulmate connections. They saw these relationships as essential for personal growth, creative inspiration, and finding meaning in a complex world. The romantic ideal of soulmates continues to influence our understanding of love, emphasizing emotional intimacy, and shared values. Modern Love, Modern Bonds, Reimagining Soulmates. The 20th and 21st centuries have witnessed dramatic societal shifts, challenging traditional notions of love, relationships, and identity. Modern art and literature reflect these evolving perspectives offering nuanced and often unconventional portrayals of soulmates. Some contemporary works challenge the idea of a single preordained soulmate. Instead, they explore the possibility of finding love in unexpected places and forming deep connections with multiple individuals throughout life. Others examine the complexities of modern relationships, grappling with themes of communication, compromise, and evolving expectations. Despite these evolving perspectives, the core yearning for connection and belonging remains a powerful force in contemporary art and literature. Modern storytellers continue to explore the multifaceted nature of love and the the enduring search for meaningful relationships in an increasingly complex world. Now, are you curious about your own soulmate? Click the link below to get your soulmate sketch delivered right to your inbox. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Catch you in the stars.